Hi, my name is Mershai Salu, Visual Information Specialist for the Montgomery County Council. Health insurance has always been important, but has become even more important than ever during this pandemic. In today's segment, I'm speaking with Luis Omar Lopez, Certified Healthcare Navigator for Ooh. Montgomery County Health Connection, a healthcare marketplace in the state of Maryland. Mr. Lopez, thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, thank you. So we can just, uh, let's, get, let's just get started. Uh, tell us about Maryland Health Connection and how it works. All right, so Maryland Health Connection, as we, some people know, everybody knows, is the um, state insurance marketplace. It's where everybody, individuals, Marylanders, um, can go in and enroll in health coverage, um, whether it's for Medicaid or the, um, through the Affordable Care Act. Okay. And uh, what types of plans are available um, and are testing and services for like COVID-19 related services covered through these plans? Yes. So um, beginning November 1st, that's when open enrollment started. And um, people that are currently enrolled, they can renew their health coverage um, for the 2021 year or um, individuals who are um, not enrolled and they want to enroll in health coverage, they can also do that as well during open enrollment. Health plan costs have dropped again this year. And um, like last year, nine out of 10 Marylanders um, that enrolled in coverage um, received and were able to qualify for financial assistance, which means that the, the premium of their coverage was decreased. Um, open enrollment ends in December 15. So if you want to be covered for the new year, um, you can explore your options today. Um, the coverage and the types of services that are covered um, with these plans. So um, you'll recognize that health um, insurance companies that provide pri private plans specifically, like CareFirst and Kaiser Permanente, are still going for the, for the new year. Um, this year, for 2021, there's a new insurance company, United Healthcare, um, giving many Marylanders another option to enroll in coverage. Um, people who are eligible for Medicaid, they can enroll all year round. And um, this is something good to know that um, the plans that are um, available through the marketplace, mm -hmm. um, they cover and they include important benefits like COVID-19 testing and treatment, it's um, covered, and mental health care coverage and doctor's visits and um, many more. That's good to know. When and how can like people enroll and are there um, help available to kind of help folks navigate through the sign up process, um, um, especially for those whose first language is not English? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So um, people can enroll. Um, there's many ways that they can do so. Um, they can visit the MarylandHealthConnection.gov uh, website, which is um, where they will um, create the account and um, start the application process if they are not currently enrolled. Um, they can also download the mobile app, which is um, Enrolled MHC, which is available for Android and um, um, Apple. And um, they can also call, um, depending on the county, um, there's different phone numbers. I work with Montgomery County, so I will provide you with the Montgomery County phone number. So we have um, certified navigators, which are the, um, the experts that will help consumers um, um, navigate the application process. It'll be all over the phone. Um, Currently, all the county offices are still closed due to the pandemic. So um, individuals can call the county line, which is 240-777-1815, uh, and they will be transferred to one of the navigators, which the navigator can help them enroll in coverage, renew their coverage for the new year, and it'll be all um, over the phone. They won't have to go to any any of the facilities, um, or they can also assist them if they want to um, see options online, how to navigate the website, et cetera. Okay, and I will run the number on the screen for folks as well. Um, open enrollment is for health insurance coverage starting next year in um, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of options do you have for those who need health insurance right away? 
So right now, um, as we continue to face the public health crisis um, and fight COVID-19, it has never been more important for Marylanders to have health coverage. So uh, Maryland Health Connection opened a special enrollment period for uninsured Marylanders. So if you have lost coverage through your employer or your income has decreased, you may be able to get coverage today. The coronavirus um, special enrollment period is open through December 15. Um, this is good to, um, to know that as of today, um, November 18th, anybody that enrolls in coverage from November 15 through um, December, I'm sorry, this is a little confusing. So from November 1st through the November 15th, your coverage will be effective um, the beginning of November. So November 1st, from November 15th, um, through December 15, your coverage will be effective on December 1st. So if you don't, if you need coverage next month on December, um, people can enroll using that um, special enrollment period for um, COVID-19. Okay. Um, and you, you mentioned at the beginning that um, the premiums have dropped this year. Mm -hmm. um, what, how affordable are, are these plans and what type of financial help is available, especially to people that have lost their jobs or going through mm -hmm. financial issues? Right. So um, the um, Maryland Health Connection Program, it bases the financial assistance that individuals received on the income um, usually for the private health insurance is based on yearly income. So a lot of individuals that um, probably received unemployment or um, the federal extension, um, some of these um, assistance that were received from, from the government, they may be counted for the yearly income, but say for example, an individual that is currently receiving only unemployment, um, they, they may still qualify for um, Medicaid, also depending on their immigration status. But if their only income at the moment is um, unemployment, because, um, well, they lost, due to everything that's happening, they lost their job, um, they may be eligible for the free health insurance. For those individuals who do not qualify for Medicaid because of immigration status, the um, income, the financial system will be based on the yearly income. And um, it's a little confusing. Um, and obviously there is more information on the, on the website, but yes, it's basically depending on your yearly income and the household size. So mm -hmm. the more people, so say for example, a family of five will receive more financial assistance than a family of two with the same income. Right, okay. Um, and as to like it pertains to those that um, have like pending immigration statuses, um, do they qualify for this program? Um, or what's the process for that? So um, individuals to enroll through Maryland Health Connection, they need to have a valid immigration status. Um, people with employment authorizations, people with um, green cards, um, visas. There are some visas um, for. Um, for children and for pregnant women, the visa, if they have a visa or they have uh, employment authorization or a green card, they can still qualify for Medicaid. Um, but adults and um, just regular folks that have uh, different immigration status, they will qualify for, um, for coverage through Maryland Health Connection. Um, those individuals that don't have an immigration status they can still apply for the county programs um, or the county clinics, I should say. Um, the, they do have, I'm not sure um, if other counties offer these services, but I know that Montgomery County has the, the county clinics, which individuals that currently don't have an immigration status can apply for, for those services so they can seek medical services. Okay. Um, and what do you need, like what source of documents would you need in order to apply? So um, to enroll in, in coverage, um, you will need a photo ID. Um, sometimes once the social security number for those that are um, seeking coverage, we will need the, either the social security number or the IT number. 
sometimes the system will be able to verify the people, the person and identity just by the social. Sometimes the system may ask for um, specific questions like um, personally, personally identifiable questions just to confirm their identity. Um, immigration status, so like I said, if they have a green card or if they have a uh, employment authorization or if they have their um, their foreign passport with a visa um, we will need that information as well um, for individuals that are still working um, if they receive at the end of the year a w-2 they will need to present their most recent pay stubs just to verify their income um, individuals can also um, present their tax records usually the previous year. So for example, individuals that are um, enrolling in coverage right now can utilize the 2019 taxes. More than likely, those um, the, the tax records are utilized for individuals that are self-employed. So they don't receive a W-2, they receive a 1099. So that will be the way that they can prove their income. Individuals that receive W-2s, they will have to provide um, pay stubs. And if they're currently enrolled or they have coverage through their employer or whatever the case may be, they can also provide um, the policy numbers and other insurance information. Okay, perfect. Um, I understand it's enrollment season and you're incredibly busy, so I won't hold you too long. But if you can like a... remind us one more, t one last time when the deadline is and um, where folks should go to get more information or should when if they want to reach out. Right. So, uh, like I said, right now, open enrollment is running. It started in November 1st and it's going to run through December 15. This is um, for consumers that want to enroll in coverage beginning um, effective January 1st or for those who want to renew their coverage for the following year. We also have availability for those who want to enroll in coverage um, effective December 1st. They can utilize the um, the COVID-19 special enrollment period. Now, the special enrollment period for COVID-19 is for those that want to enroll in coverage effective December, so they can still get coverage beginning um, next month. Um, it is not an opportunity for those that are currently enrolled to change plans. So the ones that, if they want to, the individuals that are currently enrolled, if they want to um, plan shop, it'll be effective the following year. So again, they can call the Maryland Health Connection hotline, which the number is um, 1-855. Wait, I think I have it here. Give me one second. 1-855-642-8572. Uh, or individuals within Montgomery County, or any individuals, honestly, if, if uh, we um, help individuals throughout the state um, here in Montgomery County. The number is 240-777-1815. They can also visit the website, marylandhealthconnection.gov, or they can also download the mobile app, Enroll MHC. Okay. Well, Mr. Lopez, um, thank you again for sharing all these valuable points. Um, there's a lot to learn from this, so I really appreciate you taking um, time out of your busy day for me. Awesome. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.